Hello beer tubers or alco tubers and welcome to yet another alco review with me Peter, the master of hoppets today joined by the Yarl of Yeast aka my dad. So I really thought that dad should be in this review because uh, today we're going to be looking at some cherry wine uh, and cherry wine has kind of a nostalgic place for us uh, because well it's got a lot of history in our family. Yeah. And uh, we talked a little bit about it in the vlog we did on the fishing trip, but Dad, why don't you tell you know, well, <clears throat> what it's about? 40 years ago, my dad made a cherry wine. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, shortly after, my father died. So every year at Christmas, until now, we have had for Christmas dinner one little glass of his cherry wine. So... This would bring some memories to us that uh, is uh, unforgettable. Yeah, and uh, we, we kind of want to make cherry wine this year, hopefully too, uh, mm. of a dad's place because there's cherries growing there. Try and follow our, uh, my grandfather and his father's recipe to follow the tradition. Danish people drank a lot of fruit wine in the early days, but then uh, mm. the fashion was went, changed into real changed wine. Changed to real yeah. uh, French group, type of wine. Yes, yeah. But uh, still, fruit wine is okay. Uh, I think it's more the fashion that has changed it. Yeah, me but too. But now this has gone yeah, into Stale. fashion again. And Flystale has taken the fruit wine world, at least in Denmark, by storm. Yeah. I've had a few of their products, and it's really good. I also got to give a big thanks to Flystale for sending out this bottle, because this is one I couldn't get locally, and I heard it was released. So um, they were kind enough to send a bottle so that we could try it, mm. which is awesome. So thanks a lot to Felix Dale for the wine. So this, guys, is the Felix Dale Rancho Cherry Wine. This is their most famous wine, and it's on 14.5%. This is one is one of their most famous wines, and it's the cool thing about this is that it's been aged in, it's called Demijohns, glass Demijohns, for 24 months outside on the fields around the castle, which is really cool. So it experiences both the sun, and heat and cold and rain and it's like real terroir, terroir, right? As you talk about in the wine world. And after that, they empty the the demijohns and pour the wine into cognac barrels and age in in cognac, cognac barrels. And it's it's I think they release it every two or three years because this process takes a while. And they say it's great for tapas, dried meat, uh, rich venison, foie gras, preserved prunes, fix or as avec with coffee. So really looking forward to this one. So without further ado, let's get it poured and try it. So we got the Felix Day Rancho poured and well, you just said it when I was poured. Well, it's, it's, it's cherry colored, dark, dark, cherry like really color. dark cherries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really nice looking. And, and it's, you can smell it kind of in the room. Yeah. And look at the, the, the way it sticks to the glass. Yeah. Yeah. Like it gets kind of like purple ish curtains on the glass when you yeah. swirl it. It looks really nice. Uh, yeah. You want to check out the aroma on it? Yep. Let's, Let's do, do that. Let's do it. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm. It's cherries. Yeah. Really rich ter cherry character on it. I'm, I'm, you're getting the cognac too, but it's, I think it's subtle. Yeah. Yeah. It's got that kind of fortified wine. That, that, that aged uh, kind of smell. Yeah. Oak. The wood. Mm. Yeah. Vanilla? And almonds mm -hmm. for me too. You, just, you smell the alcohol too. Yeah, you smell the 14.5% yeah. alcohol. But it's also very fresh. They released it this year, so um, it's, it's a fresh bottle. This is a bottle that's of, of wine, fruit wine that's great to age. But mm. really nice, some earthy undertones and maybe nuts and whatnot. But man, I like the aroma on this a lot, even though there's a bit of a heat to it. Do you want to try it? Let's try it. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yes. And thanks to Flag Day Flag for the hot show. Memory of granddad. <laughs> oh, that is, that is flavorful. Actually, more aftertaste of cognac and oak than mm -hmm. cherries. Yeah, it's like up front, it's a lot of sweet cherry. Mm -hmm. uh, like real, almost like you took black cherries and cooked them with sugar. Or something like, like a caramelized black cherry. Mm. That's what I'm getting. I think the cherries they're using are called Stilts Kiesebe. I think it's a Danish type of cherry, actually. Mm -hmm. um, 
But again, getting that, I'm definitely also getting almond and vanilla tones. Yeah. And lots of like earthy, heavy, dark fruits, almost like those fruit compotes you use for game, like venison and whatnot on the side. And you get the sticky feeling like uh, you see in the glass. Uh, mm -hmm. You get that sticky feeling in your mouth. Also lots of raisins, actually, and figs, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so, so much flavor. If you compare it, like I remember in high school, sometimes me and my friends would get the really cheap uh, cherry wines when we go to parties, and if you can, you can't compare stuff no, like no, this no, no, no. at all. It's Such a complete different league. Yeah, they say like good with venison and whatnot, and I think so. It's almost like you, it's it's like it's almost like a sweeter, really, really powerful wine. Because I think it's sweeter than you know your average red wines, but it's got the same powerful intensity of flavors. Yeah, as uh, uh, the power of it is, is like uh, the port wine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. port wine esque. Yeah, and there's definitely port wine esque flavors to it. Yeah, with the whole plethora of dried fruits. Yeah, I think mm. definitely in the top class. So I'd say ninety eight. Ninety eight. There you got it. <laughs> it is. Do you know what I? Yeah, maybe I should step it up a bit too because I don't think I've ever had a fruit wine that's better than this. Or a cherry wine, for that matter. So maybe I should go like 97, 98 yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Because it is really good stuff. And again, I'm not just saying it because they sent it. It is really damn good. And I urge you to try and get it. If you can't get it locally, I think they sell it on their web shop. Uh, at the Felix Day website. It will be in the description below. Uh, and if not, I think you can get it in many different wine stores across Denmark. Uh, possibly also outside of Denmark. Not entirely sure. But it's worth seeking out. Because but it's really tasty. As far as I know, they have a big uh, export for China. Oh, cool. Mm. Uh, Danish terroir is this what this is. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, really good stuff, guys. Definitely check out the Falling State Rancho Cherry Wine. This is just such awesome drinking stuff. Uh, check it out, guys. Let us know what you think of this one, if you've had a chance to try it, and what's your favorite Falling State product, if you have any, uh, and if you've had a chance to try any. So yeah, I guess we're going to say remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give us a thumbs up. And we're going to say cheers. And I guess cheers to granddad, Peter, yeah. who I'm named after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And see you guys in another alcohol review.